What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about the Scream 6 news that's uh, kind of come out over this past weekend. And it's very simple. The film, it will be filming in Montreal, Canada this summer. Now, we knew this summer. That part is not new. But being in Montreal is the, the, the newest thing um, about it. Now, really, to me, it's what my title suggests, right? The, the, the info part there is not... The, uh, I don't know, you know, I mean, you can say it out loud and that's kind of it. But I want to talk about what does that actually mean, right? Now, you see people saying a couple different things online. I have, a, uh, you know, a couple different thoughts on it, too. Number one, you have people, I think, jokingly talking about, like, Nev Campbell, right? We know Nev Campbell uh, is Canadian and saying, well, did they do it, like, for her? Highly doubt it. In fact, that would probably be the last reason you would do it would be for a specific actor or actress. I just don't think that's, uh, that's the way they would be handling it. Number two, I do believe you get tax breaks if you're in Canada. Uh, I don't know if it's specifically Montreal or just Canada in general. Um, a lot of TV shows actually uh, filming, I guess it depends on the network, but several TV shows film in Canada. I would, to me, I would honestly believe that has part of you know, part of to do with it. Uh, that's not, that's obviously not using great grammar, right? But I think that's part of it is that they could maybe have some write offs or whatever, save a little bit of money. And what kind of Hollywood company doesn't want to save a little bit of money, right? That's part one. Part two, in terms of the actual story, I find it incredibly difficult to believe that this movie would be set in Woodsboro. Now, the thing is this. When the movie came out, I had even said in multiple videos, I don't think the next movie would be in Woodsboro. I think they would leave. People were very quick to correct me or just kind of inform me, and I do remember this. I remember uh, you know them saying it, that the idea of the future of this franchise, uh, I, I believe it was the directors that talked about it, right, uh, around when the movie came out, is that you know there are more stories to be told in Woodsboro. I'm pretty sure that's word for word what they said. Now, that would imply <laughs> you would stay in Wood, you know what I mean? So I don't I don't know why you say these again like right now point blank if you ask me and like there was no taking it back do I think the next movie is going to be in Woodsboro it's going to be somewhere else like a college or something I'd fully say that the second one I, I don't think they're going to be uh, in Woodsboro anymore and uh, and I don't I'm not saying that's necessarily good or that's necessarily bad I'm just saying that's what I think you know what I mean is going to happen uh, it's just odd to me that they would have said that there's more stories to be told there to then leave there it, I I personally think it makes more sense for the story for them to leave. I mean, just point blank, we know even from the movie, right? Tara, or I guess, well, let's start with Sam. Sam left, right? And Sam really had no... Uh, desire to come back. I mean, the only thing that could get her to come back would be somebody that she loves and Tara being attacked. So, like, so you have that. Then you had throughout the entire movie, and I did actually like this, the idea was, let's just leave. You know what I mean? You know, and, and they said it in the movie, right? Nobody ever does this. Let's leave. Wood. Like, why stay here? Let's just drive away. And obviously, that got them caught up in it. But you know what I mean? Like, they wanted out. Or at least Sam wanted out, and I think Tara was very willing to follow her. So even from a character motivation point it makes to me it makes full sense to just get the heck out of there you know what i mean whether or not that's what would serve the story best or people would would take to that the best i don't know in fact i don't think they would i think woodsboro just has some sort of magic there but uh, i think that's what it is so and then you know I, I think that makes more sense because you can get attacked somewhere else now you have to figure out a way of getting uh sydney and gail right in there now maybe montreal is supposed to be like uh it was now is sydney correct me if i'm wrong chicago for some reason is what popped out i think they did say behind the scenes in some interview where sydney like fictionally lives you guys can let me know in the comments but maybe it's supposed to be that i i, I think honestly that's an okay idea maybe take it to <laughs> take it to sydney leaves because she's just had enough and then just take the killings to her you know in, in a way of getting her back so you know i, I think uh getting sydney getting gail Obviously, it's going to follow Sam and Tara, so like wherever they go. So obviously, they would be on the road, or they would be somewhere, uh, somewhere else, and then the killings would start, and then, again, you'd have to figure out a way to bring in Sydney and Gail. If you have the location B where Sydney and Gail were, that would make it a lot easier, right? Because then you wouldn't have to bring them in. They're just kind of around uh, as a part of it. But we'll have to see. You know, again, I'm not, I'm not declaring it to be some horrible thing, some great thing. I will say, I will say, when the movie came out, I, again, what I said, I think the movie is going to move or the franchise is moving away from it. I saw a lot of people very negative 
And I'm not saying this is right or wrong. I just know I saw a lot of people uh, being very negative on the idea of them going to college, them kind of recreating two. Now, I do have kind of a problem with that. I think that would kind of be lame to just have five and really four. Four and five are trying to replicate one. Six is trying to replicate two. Does it make sense? Sure. But is it kind of predictable? Do we need to go to a college a second time? I mean, you could argue that the idea for the original 456 trilogy, right, with Wes Craven and Kevin Williamson was to take it back to college. So, you know, uh, that's fair. That's a, definitely a fair point to make. But uh, I saw a lot of people very against that idea, and I'm not really all that, you know, amazed with it either. We'll have to see if they change their tune, right? We'll have to see if people kind of stick to what they, uh, they were thinking. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. And I think we'll be able to tell relatively easily what we're dealing with, right? Because once we get not really casting, but once we get kind of a film location in Montreal, once there's like leaked behind the scenes pictures and we say, oh, are they on a an abandoned college campus? Are they in like an urban or suburban kind of, you know, housing area? Like where are they? Once we see those pictures, I think we'll you know, I mean, be able to put it together kind of where the story takes place. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Make sure, as always, you guys are subscribed to the channel. Bell icon turned on so you guys know when all these videos go up. If you guys want to follow me anywhere else, all my social media is in the description below, along with our Patreon and YouTube memberships. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you all on the next video.